a lot of this stuff is going on with us in this era of history has to do with the sin that's in the world. And people don't want to talk about sin and they don't want to talk about the things that really cripple uh, humanity, period. But one of the things that really cripple humanity uh, is sin uh, because sin is, is prevalent, is here, is here to stay and uh, until Jesus comes back. And so it may be that sins are blocking what you're trying to accomplish. It may be that you're living in sin and you don't really know what it really is. You just might think that you're doing something bad, but it's sin. And so it may be blocking your blessings. And so I can tell you, if you are living in disobedience, then sin is what's causing it. And that's why you're not being as blessed as you could be. Some of you are really blessed and don't even know it, uh, that you're really blessed. But because of your pride, which is sin, uh, it's, it's stopping or plugging up uh, what God could really be doing for you. And so this morning, I want you to know how blessed you are uh, that God will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And, you know, that's an inexhaustible statement. That's a promise from God. And guess what? Um, heaven just overflows with promises from God in this word. You know, in his word is over 4,000 promises in the Old Testament, New Testament that God says he will do it. And I'm going to share one with you. But real quick, let's go to Matthew's real quick. Chapter 6. And I want to share this with you real quick. And it's familiar. You, you, most of you know it, that, that our Bible uh, readers or that, that knows the scriptures and uh, know the Bible. But here in Matthew's uh, chapter 6, and I'm just going to read this in your hearing um, because it's self-explanatory. Starting at verse 25, uh, it says these words. It says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life. Do not worry about the coronavirus or any other sickness or disease or anything that's going on in your life. How you going to pay your bills or how you're not going to do this and how you're not going to do that because you're not financially able or because you don't have the means or the necessary wherewithal. It says what you eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life, there it is again, more than food and the body, more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. For they neither, watch this, sow nor reap, neither nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not, watch this, more valuable than they, the birds? You are more valuable than creation because you were created in his image. You are the crown jewel of his creation, man and woman. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubic to his or her statue? No one. You can't add nothing to your life because it's not promised to you anyway. It's a gift. It is a gift from God. Now watch this. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon, King Solomon in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these talking about God's creation, the lilies. It says, now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is today here and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Mm. A lot of this has to do with your faith because a lot of you are not believing in God and you're not standing on his word and you don't believe the truth. And so the blessing, the breakthrough won't come because of the fact or the benevolence and benefits because of the fact that you don't have faith in God. You don't have faith in his word. You don't believe in him. You don't believe the Bible. You know, it's a lot of Christians that don't even read the Bible. They don't believe it. They rather listen to the preacher preach. And sometimes they are heavily misguided and misled and misinterpreted.